Hey, hi guys, uh, how are you? This is Mr. Louis, and we're going to continue with the third video for our project Pac-Man. In this case, we are going to uh, make the or create the cookies. Yes, that's how I call I call them. Some other teachers or YouTubers they call them dots, and that's super cool. But I prefer to call them cookies, as um, I imagine that Pac-Man is is eating cookies through the maze and avoiding the the ghost. That's that's the story for me. So in our last video. Uh, we had uh, Pac-Man, as you can see, with this coding. He's now able to move around the maze. We got the maze with no code coding. And we have the backdrop, the backdrop with no coding, and we are we're gonna be here. So what we're going to do now is to start creating the cookies, and then uh, put some code to that. So that's the first thing we're going to do now. We are going to create uh, our cookies. In order to do so, that's super simple. You go to a sprite, you go to paint to create. It is irrelevant if you do it in Bitman or Vectors, it's completely fine. And uh, you select this one over here, the, let me show you, this one over here, the square. Um, and then you select any color that you want, okay? Any color that you want. The classical color of the of the cookies is also green, as as it is for for uh, Pac-Man. And then uh, for them to create an outline, you can select this one, this option over here, the the red um, slash backslash. I think it's a backslash. The red backslash. Okay. And then you go go to the, go to the center here. You go a little away. So it's super center, and you create the, cook, the cookie as a square. If you remember that, if you click your your chief button on your on your um, keyboard, the the the, um, the square is gonna be super. You see, super perfect. It's gonna be super perfect. So more or less like that, and you have it on the screen here. So let me open this one. Here, so you can see it's right here. So what's the deal here that is incredibly big? It does. It depends how you do how you do it in the in this uh, customs area. Depends how you do it. You need to reduce it. So in my case, I'm going to reduce this here in size into 20%. Even it still is a little for me. It's a little still still too big so i'm gonna go for 15 but you have to be careful in your case yeah, 15 is 15 percent is for me is good but maybe for you it could be 20 it could be 30 depends how you create it so be careful with that more or less for me this is this is a correct size comparing comparing the the pac-man with the with the the cookie and comparing also the cookie with the maze okay <clears throat> Good. With that, with that being, with that uh, being done, we now we go to code. We return to the to the cookie. Now we're going to uh, put a uh, write a name to my new sprite, and I'm going to call it Cookie. Cookie, and that's that's that. So the idea is to create. Uh, probably around 100 cookies uh, all over the maze okay that's gonna be a little a little uh, tiring a little annoying but you have to have the patience to create one by one the important thing is that you need to create or you need to to set up the coding of your very first cookie so you don't have to repeat that coding or or fix that coding in this or that uh, cookie. So it's very important that the first cookie has the right um, coding. It's super super important. Okay. Now we're going to continue with the uh, coding of my backdrop. So remember another important thing here. Uh, in my case, in my case, my maze. It's as you can see, uh, black 
with the blue walls but my backdrop is completely white so that's very important because maybe you created backwards or you did it in another way so you have to be careful with that in my case my backdrop uh, is white it's a complete white uh, plane or white canvas so it depends how you did it how you how you do it some other teachers they do they do the canvas excuse me yes they do the, the backdrop uh, black and only create the walls in my case i did it in this way so you have to be careful with that so i go to my backdrop this is the coding for the backdrop i go to my backdrop so that's why it's completely white here and i'm gonna start with the coding with the code for uh my back drop okay so i want to start with here with events i'm going to go with the classical when um, green flag is clicked okay let me let me change this so you can see it better here and here okay good then we go to uh, broadcast it's right here broadcast and we're going to create a new message here which is going to be uh, show cookies show cookies so that's what I want from my from my backdrop that I was I were able to or the, the backdrop is able to show the cookies if not they're going to disappear in the, in the back so show cookies um, yes so we, I'm able to show to show the cookies all over okay so now I'm gonna go to the uh, yes okay I'm here in the backdrop <coughs> and then um, this is very important because every time that I that I finish a level, uh, I'm gonna be able to see the, the dots again. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to I'm gonna go to variables here, and I'm gonna make a variable, and that variable is going to be um, cookies remaining. Cookies remaining. So this is gonna create the numbers of cookies that I'm gonna I'm gonna have that you can see now here on the on the top left left top of the of the presentation area of the, the game area. You see that now we have um, that cookies remaining option. So I'm putting here, okay and set the cookies remaining to zero so we're going to start zero okay now um i think that's that's pretty much what it is for the for the um, the backdrop okay what i'm going to do now i'm going to start with the coding that that's pretty much what it is i'm going to start with the coding for the cookie okay so I'm gonna start with events here and then I'm gonna go to when I receive when I receive option yes it's good when I receive option so a little bigger so you can see it better there you go well actually it's gonna be a little problematic if I go too far too too big so let's leave it like around there okay good so when I receive show cookies um, I'm gonna go to looks so obviously it's gonna be show so then I go to variables here and I'm gonna go to change cookies remaining by one so when I receive show dots um, I'm gonna change I'm gonna change the cookies remaining by one and they're gonna show okay 
Now, uh, this is going to help me to have control to see how many cookies I have left in the maze. Okay, so after I've done this, now uh, we're going to continue with a more coding for the dots. Okay. Just a second. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the idea to see how many how many cookies are left. Uh, controlling that. Okay, good. We're ready for the next one. Now we're gonna go to the forever loop option. We're gonna go for the cause and effect option. Then we're gonna go to sensing, uh, touching. If, if touching the Pac-Man, Mr. Pac-Man in this case, then I'm gonna hide right here. Okay, so, and then obviously the, the cookies remaining is gonna change. Okay, for that variable here, and it's gonna change here. Cookies remaining by minus one because it's changing. Okay, so I'm creating this forever loop control uh, all this one, so so it's, this is exactly what happened. In, in, I, I was I was do, I was uh, making a, a video, and I failed because I, I did it in the, in the wrong way, in the wrong uh, sequence, if you wish. So uh, here, what is what I'm proposing is that obviously uh, what I need to set up is the fact that if that. If Mr. Pac-Man touches me, I am I am the cookie, and if the Pac-Man touches is touching me, I'm gonna hide. Okay, so that's that's pretty much what what happens, and it's pretty, it's really important these controls. In that way, you're gonna help Mr. Pac-Man to do it to do the job in a good way. Okay, I think I miss another coding here, uh, which is. Uh, again, events. We're gonna go to broadcast. Broadcast here, and we're gonna go to new message here. And we're gonna create a new message, which is called uh, cookies. Cookies eaten. Cookies eaten. So this is going to tell the, 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 the cookie that is eaten, okay, so it's going to hide. And finally, so we, in some way, we stop this, this um, loop. We're going to select stop here and stop this script, okay, because if not, it's going to happen over and over again with all the dots that we're going to create is that that's gonna make your game a little bit more slowly you know well then finally we're gonna we're gonna add uh, a couple of more uh, codes in order to to make the 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 cookies appear or disappear depending depending on the situation of the game okay so in order to do that, we're gonna go to events. We're gonna go to when I receive, when I receive here, and we're gonna create a new message, which is uh, hide cookies, hide cookies. So here, hide cookies, okay. And with high cookies, obviously, obviously we're going to have height, which is in looks. And I guess we are pretty much ready. Let me check. I guess we're pretty much ready. Okay. And as I say in the beginning, it's very important to create all these codes. All these codes so we don't have to... Uh, uh, create every every code for every every cookie. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's let's give it a try. Let me open here this, and let's see if it's going to work. I go to with my green flag here, and I'm gonna try to eat that 
uh, dot that is over there. Go here. Yep, it's working. Disappears. You see? Good. So it's working. Yes, it's working. Now, what we need to do is to duplicate. In order to duplicate, uh, we just go to the to the sprite called cookie, right click, and duplicate. And it's going to appear randomly in any in any area of the of the maze. So what we do is to start placing them in order. You know, one of another, similar to the to the Pac-Man game. Same thing. I duplicate and I start placing them in order okay here for example then duplicate again it doesn't matter if you duplicate the, the original cookie or or one of the copies that's completely relevant duplicate and that's it and this is the this is the uh, the kind of annoying job that you have to do i know that you won't be, oh, excuse me, oops, I get the, I get the maze, okay, so um, that's what you do, that's exactly what you do, and I know it's going to be a little annoying for you, okay, that's exactly what you have to do, okay, uh, so, I'm gonna go to see oh, okay I'm gonna go here because I already have all the maze complete here there you go see inside okay so here is already uh, the <coughs> with all the cookies you see and I think <coughs> excuse me the only thing that I that you have to include is go to maze Go to maze. Ah, I am. We are in maze and create this coding. I already did it. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, you go. Uh, you create uh, when green flag click. Go to back layer. This back layer is in looks. It's right here. Uh, go to go to go to go to go to. It's right here. Go to back layer and show, which is in the same looks. And also, when I receive high maze, I hide. Why we do this? So, so when I when I finish and I start uh, a new a new level, the 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 um, the cookies they're going to appear again. Okay. So this is very important. This is the last part of the code. And remember, this on your on your maze here on your maze. This is Pac-Man. This is maze. And include this at the end okay let me show you how it goes okay so as this it and see how the the numbers uh, here the numbers of the cookies remaining is starting to disappear you know it's getting less and less and less until it goes to zero when I finish eating all the dots okay guys so super happy we are almost ready with our project now we're gonna need uh, some other details especially obviously our other stars they are the the ghosts the four ghosts pinky inky rinky and i don't remember the name of the other guy <laughs> but uh, that's what we need our ghost uh, we can also uh, inserts the music, the classical uh, um, police siren uh, sound, uh, the the big cookies that give you the chance to to eat the the ghost. Well, details that we can include or not, but the most important obviously is the ghost. Okay, okay, guys, look, I'm gonna finish in zero and it's done. Okay, and we go to the next level. Okay, guys, so that's that. That's that. So, see you in the next video for the next uh, tutorial about Pac Man. Thank you very much. See you next time.